Everyday DK here with Everyday Goodness. You know what's good? I mean, really good. Well, the lighting and the shadows of the spot that I'm standing in is pretty co good and cool. Because as you notice, in the upper left hand corner, it's like, it looks like some sort of an effect. When in actuality, it's not an effect, it's lighting, see? So, um, you know, over here is a swirly thing going on. But, you know, light bulbs are light bulbs, and they're not, well, they are kind of swirly, but maybe it is swirly because of the light bulbs. Up here, in this region. I don't know how well you can see that, but came back to me. And you know what I was thinking? You know it's good. I mean, really good. Being kind and wonderful to other people, which encourages them to be kind and wonderful to the people in the future. Like an example would be, let's say you got a good friend that helps you out at a low point of your life. And when you get better and your, your life gets better, um, you look to switch hands because that looks awkward. You look to, you know, car carry it on, pay it forward. Um, do things, do good for other people, be that generous friend to good people, and it keeps going and going and gets bigger and bigger in the life, the life, your life, the, li the lives of those living around you gets better and better and awesomer and awesomer. Aw yes, I made that up. Awesomer and awesomer. I also made up the word awesomely awesome. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um... But there's also the opposite, the negative, which is baggage. When somebody treats somebody uh, poorly, and then later in life, they move on from that person, and they're a little hesitant from like developing a friendship, a uh, partnership, relationship, um, any sort of social interaction with that person, based on the fact that long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, you know, somebody treated that person wrongly in a very, in a way that's significant. We're not talking about, well, my hand's wrinkly. We're not talking about, um, you know, passing people by. I mean, well, hold on, like, time out. Time out. Like a stranger. We're not talking about, like, strangers passing you by in the street, or like, you know, a crazy, bad driver driving around, causing all types of headache and heartache. We're talking about like, you know, like a friend or a relative, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, you know, somebody significant causing negative damage to somebody else. And that's why they're a little hesitant in, um, you know, life's journey, for the positive anyway. So, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of that lately with uh, other people, talking to people here, there, and everywhere. And I feel that... You know, if you're not vibing with someone and you don't like someone too well, don't don't treat them badly. Just walk away like that and, you know, start anew and leave that person alone. And, well, basically, as I forgot to say it, I think Ice Cube. As Ice Cube would put it, check yourself before you wreck yourself and it's something that you should do forever and always. You know, there's no re there's no real good reason to be mean or to be cruel to others. No, because that sets humanity and life and people backwards where they should be going forwards. And I feel with more positive energy and positive attitudes, I feel that P 
people would make this world better than it is now, than it was back in 2008, back in 2011, so on and so forth. And if we spread the positivity, then in due time, I feel that we will get positive results and we believe we'll, we will be living in a better world. Not a perfect world, there is no such thing as perfect, but I will tell you this, we will be living in a much better world when you are kind to others. And that's a fact, Jack. My name's not Jack. My name is Everyday DK. And the phone rings for no one because I'm not answering it. See ya.